On January 8, 2005, a professional diver named David Shaw was on an extraction mission to recover a missing individual named Dion Dreyer. David, having won numerous diving records in his career, many of them going great depths into caves, was confident in his abilities to locate this person. He was also with a team to help ensure his further safety. They run a line down the cave to help themselves move along and keep from straying too far and getting lost. There's very little light down here. The line leads to Dion. At three minutes, they pass over this deflated dolphin that was on Dion's vessel as a joke. Now it's on the bottom of the sea cave floor. He is walking along the bottom and soon becomes hopelessly tangled in the line. He pulls and pulls, hoping to find a good place to cut, but his movements become slower as his oxygen runs out. Okay, there he goes, he's moving on again. Now, he's breathing very hard. I won't show the end, but sadly, he did not make it out of the cave and passed in the darkness next to Dion. Let's never forget his valiant final dive and take a moment to recognize his bravery. It was his 333rd dive. On June 15th of 2020, a 57-year-old man left his Nashville, Tennessee home in the middle of the night. He never returned. The situation went unresolved until a YouTube channel called Adventures with Purpose went diving in the Cumberland River to find this, a waterlogged car missing since June, and inside of it, the missing individual whose family members have spent over half a year searching for. It's a somber moment as they dredge the car from the bottom of the river, but at least the family can stop worrying and start healing. The technical process is interesting as well. I never thought about it before, but a recovery team appears to have inserted industrial-sized orange flotation devices under the car and inflated them to help dislodge the wheels from the muddy riverbed. This black tarp acts as a net to keep anything from floating out of the vehicle during the removal process. It's good that they want to keep him covered and with dignity at all times. The story behind this event is very sad, but this video serves as a look at the great lengths gone to make sure everyone is afforded a proper ceremony and a final resting place. I commend the channel Adventures with Purpose for using their time, resources, and expertise to provide closure to families with missing loved ones. Without his help, they may have never found any answers. Fisherman's Chronicles gets a catch while kayaking in the San Francisco Bay, but you'll never guess what he's caught on camera, or rather, what's caught him. Oh my, that's a fish on, that's a fish on, oh my, this is a big fish on, I got a big fish on. Oh, this is, this is a halibut, it's for a shark keeper. He thinks he's hooked a halibut, but it's much worse than that. A stingray, its whipping tail is like a serrated needle that will mess you up in seconds flat. He has to get the hook out of its mouth fast while avoiding the tail. Wow, look at, got a good view of that. This guy's trying to sting me. Nothing new for him. He's caught hundreds of them before, but I guess everyone can make a mistake. The tail connects and a barbed wire feeling races up his arm. Now he has to get the hook out with the ray in his lap. And he's lucky it doesn't take a chunk out of his thigh here at 7 minutes and 17 seconds. They do have razor sharp teeth. He gets to a hospital as fast as he can and this is the end result. Well I had to row like half a mile back to the kayak uh, launch with a stingray tail like sticking out of my arm. It's healed up nicely since, and he doesn't have any nerve damage to speak of, but it's not something I would ever want to go through, and I hope he never does again. He's lucky it wasn't higher up and nicked an artery. Also, I just wanted to commend him for not getting angry at the stingray for defending itself. He focuses on getting the hook out of the stingray first before getting help for himself. Uh, I still want to release this guy as fast as possible. I think everyone's first instinct is to throw it back into the water, so this must have taken an incredible amount of self-restraint. 
A group of divers go exploring off Miller's Point in South Africa, a place where giant sea life can pose quite a problem, but it's not what they find that makes this diving video scary so much as what it is they lose. At 4 minutes and 17 seconds, one of them starts to thrash around and has to be extracted by two friends. He has lost his sense of direction because everything is one color, no floor, no ceiling, and easy to lose track of unless you keep focus. Now up has become down, left has become right. He has no idea where he is and his mind is spinning, a condition known as vertigo. Once you are in this confused state, it's easy to keep swimming farther down because you think you are going to reach the surface at any moment. Eventually, the underwater pressure becomes too much to handle and you can guess the rest. When they bring him to the surface, you can see that it's a good thing they intervened in time. He later says he blacked out and doesn't remember any of the scary moments they've caught on camera. There was little chance of him reaching the surface on his own, and he pretty much owes them his life. So take this video as an example why you should never go diving alone unless you want to risk the same thing happening to you with no one to save your life. A bizarre unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly Sisu is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Melly describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. The camera won't focus. Oh my God. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to, and maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to concede that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. Even the most relaxing of destinations can quickly become the scariest places in the world at a moment's notice. <laughs> hey Heidi, hey Heidi, get in the boat. Yep. Heidi is admiring the scenic Key West view when she is caught in the sights of a large white object or perhaps a great white shark. Heidi doesn't waste a precious second getting out of there, not even looking behind her once until she is back on the boat, which very well may have saved her life. As they look out into the water with a newfound horror, they realized how close she was to a real shark encounter. Look. Look out. Look. That would not been fun. So just remember, it doesn't matter where you visit, there is no vacation in the deep sea where you're always considered prey. This is a huge 10 foot fish. Even the locals don't even know what this is. This underwater discovery is scary to visitors and locals alike because never before have they seen such a strange sea creature sighting. It's unknown exactly when this video was taken. Somewhere in Mexico is the best I could find, but I can tell you what this is called. It's an oar fish, and it gets its name because it's roughly as long as a rowing paddle. Everyone is perplexed by what to them is a mysterious encounter. In reality, the oar fish looks twice as aggressive as a shark, but actually poses no harm to you unless you are underwater plankton. Its main diet, strange appearance aside, 
There's one other reason to be afraid of this fish. According to Japanese folklore, or fish wash ashore when an earthquake is coming soon. Apparently it's happened so many times in the past that they've even done experiments to see if it's true. They weren't able to prove the myth true, but one lead scientist talked about changes in catfish behavior that have been observed up to 10 days before an earthquake. So if a catfish acts strange before an earthquake, then an oarfish could too in my opinion. If anyone knows the date and location of this video then please tell me. That way I could look up any reports of seismic activity after this video was taken to see if the legends are true. Impending earthquake or not, seeing this creature wash ashore on a sunny day and not knowing what it was would be enough to make me grab my luggage and get the heck out of there. That's one freaky fish I'd rather not chance brushing across in the water. Of all the scary creatures I've seen, this unknown underwater sighting is probably one of the weirdest. Check out this creepy video uploaded on March 20th of 2012 from a cheap cell phone in terrible weather. So unfortunately, the resolution isn't that great. Anyway, the sky's dark and overhead, as if heralding the arrival of something dreadful from beneath the ocean waves. That's when this strange sighting is caught on tape. And I'm not sure what it is. A whale's head. The tentacle of a giant creature perhaps. Or maybe something even scarier. A creature slaps the boat deck and then goes underwater with a 9 to 1 like to dislike ratio. Most people seem to believe this scary video is real, but I can't say I agree. Here's my analysis. Like so many others, I too thought it was a giant creature sighting at sea until I noticed something strange at 9 seconds into the video. Pool railings, or so I suspect. If I'm correct, then this must have been taken at a swimming pool, not a boat like the title says. So either this was a strange creature sighting in a pool, or, and this is what I'm going with, it's merely footage of an aquarium show edited to look scarier than it was. This kind of looks like the tank of a killer whale, so maybe this was taken while training one. If this is fake, then congratulations to the maker of this video for fooling tens of thousands of people into believing it was real and going after a boat. Me too at first. At least until some further analysis. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video. On one hand, this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water's surface, like a gigantic sea snake. On the other hand, this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat, a tow line perhaps. The fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious, but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera. It all depends on how much you believe him. Oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1,200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast, ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures. Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. A diving instructor named McFear1991 notices a giant underwater sea creature slither up to some students under his watch. Their backs are turned and there's no way to scream or otherwise let them know, so the brave diver does what he has to do. He 
He grabs the snake to make it change course. It takes one look back and seeks shelter under a rock, what he calls an awesome sea snake encounter. To me, would be nothing short of downright terrifying. I'm especially interested to know if this is an olive sea snake like he says. If so, Google says they are known to approach divers with curiosity and that they rarely do anything to them, but when they do, it does not go well. Not what you'd want to surprise you from behind with no gloves. Oh yeah, and one more scary thing. He calls this thing a juvenile in the description. If that's not considered full grown, then I can't imagine how big these snakes must get. A YouTuber named The Bearded Biologist created a wildlife channel to help people become more appreciative of nature and not be frightened. Let's see how he himself keeps from getting scared when having an encounter that would frighten 99% of most people, no matter how brave they think they are. Barely visible to the untrained eye and easily mistaken as a piece of driftwood is something that would have people screaming and freaking out, but not him. The biologist spots it and wisely turns the other way at six seconds. The curious snake makes no similar efforts to avoid him. The biologist seems to keep it distanced and distracted by his paddle, but it's not over yet. The fearless snake follows him for another 10 seconds and then lets him go. I, like you, most likely thought this was definitely a chase, but he says this was not a chase so much as curiosity on the snake's behalf. What he means by this is that it could be much faster and easily catch up to him if it wanted to. He's just being politely escorted out of its territory, which is a characteristic of the cottonmouth snake, aka the water moccasin. Some people say this is a harmless water snake, but he says it's not and I can back him up on that one. Not that he needs my help because he already has two degrees in this field. This write-up from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says water moccasins are the only snakes that float with their head above the water. They are also venomous and are responsible for 7% of all snake bites in Texas every year. So even though I applaud the bearded biologist and applaud him for trying to make me less afraid of nature, I ended up doing research because of him and freaking myself out twice as bad. Knowing that this venomous snake is showing him mercy to me is just another way of saying he's at the mercy of a big snake. Sometimes the more you know, the more terrifying things get. In August of 2018, a mysterious ghost ship appeared in the Indian Ocean, no cargo no crew, nobody noticed it was missing, no documents left behind. When they ran the name on the side of the ship, the P6-1600, they were shocked to discover the ship had been lost in 2009, all the way in Taiwan. It had spent a total of nine years floating around at sea. And get this, as you can tell from the pictures, it was almost in perfect working condition upon being found. There's not a lot of rust considering how long it's been left out there, and there's no holes either. How does a ship this large go missing for so many years without anybody seeing if they need help? Some say it was taken over and recently abandoned. The story of a ghost ship missing for almost a decade went viral in India and prompted more digging. The best authorities were able to do was track it back to a shipwrecking facility in China. It was scheduled to be dismantled when it mysteriously floated away and disappeared. Beyond that, nobody knows why it was sent to this facility, and nobody knows a single thing about its former crew. I wouldn't be surprised if the old crew was still on board one way or another, and by that I mean the PB-1600 definitely sounds haunted. Only the brave can watch all of the scary videos on this list, so if you are the type who gets creeped out easily, then this is probably going to be too much for you to handle.